Dance represent Solomon Island people say We people celebrating early from my homeland Like my old man say there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have to step up for the past 20 scrolling Nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to us for a start? No point complaining And this we partaking We represent the cause of the ones falling We resemble to Previously on Delos We find the abandoned village of Badam Island Move Delos over for a closer look And set up camp for a few weeks of exploring like so many cruises before us, the Yacht Club at Badam Island became our new little hangout spot. You doing, Balasi? I'm gonna copy Isvi Dalos and then do the Buddha Man. And we're gonna hang it inside next to totems. Really. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> it's a real mission with my hair. Ryan's found his little chair that he's put in the sand. <laughs> gonna sneak up on it. Just that looks comfortable. It's really nice. I think that's what, what the chair's for. To put in the sand. I so too. But we weren't totally alone. Oh, here we go guys. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that beast. What? Are you fucking serious? That's amazing. <sighs> Big fucker. Massive crabs everywhere. How many coconut crabs are there? <laughs> like... So many. Look at these. Look at the tree. Like, look how big that is compared to me. <laughs> like, like look at my hand compared to this guy. And he's climbing upside down. It's just insane. Look at these. There's four of them climbing up this one tree. It's like arachnophobia. This place was crawling with coconut crabs and they were big. Apparently they can grow up to 1 meter, weighing about 4.5 kilos, with a lifespan that can exceed 60 years. Their crazy front legs are used to open coconuts, but they can lift stuff weighing up to 29 kilos. That's like a small child. Be careful Kaza, they will fucking break your finger off. So Holy shit. This is the, the den of a massive coconut crab. You can see out in front of his home all of the coconuts that he's shredded. It's like a soft bedding to warn intruders. So we're going into the beach and uh, I'm gonna cut Max's hair because he's so sick of it. And last time when we were on the passage to two Chagos, he had like two massive dreads. So it's about time we get it cut. Me and Yosha just cut, um, trimmed Max's beard off. How does it feel? I guess I just took off like five, <laughs> five years or something. Let's and see what Brian thinks. Don't turn around yet. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, come here and look at Max. Boo. <laughs> it's like that young boy I met in Thailand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, I, I don't feel the same now when I looked. We took a photo and I could see myself and I don't look like the same person. Yeah. It's crazy. So Frida and Max were slowly getting ready for civilization. So uh, last week my grandmother uh, passed away and since we're in the middle of the Indian Ocean I can't go to the funeral. Unfortunately, uh, but I do feel I want to go and be with my family. So me and Frida have now decided to 
leave Delos uh, and fly out from uh, Madagascar. So we will leave the boat a few months earlier than planned, which is sad, but it's something we feel that we really need to do. Um, but as always, it's, it's not goodbye, it's always see you later. I feel really good about the decision because I know that uh, Max's family and will be very happy to see us and we can be there for them and spend some time and even though this was not really our plans, plans change and this is just life and it's been really hard, um, especially for Max, you know, not being able to call, you know, since we're in the middle of nowhere, but at least we have the Iridium so we've been able to email trying to find flights and we don't have any internet but luckily enough we have the video so we're emailing with family and friends and they're checking flights for us um, which is difficult but um, it's going okay but I know we'll come back to Dallas one day so um, it's not goodbye forever So, it's been a bit of a hard time here. It's been a pretty interesting couple of months, I'd say, and especially this past month has been intense for sure. Um, Yosha has decided to leave the boat, so... Uh, she's been on the boat since, you know, she was 18 and been with me since she was 18, just out of high school, and she's 22 now, so it's kind of the only world she knows, and it's time, you know, it's time for, for her to go and, and, and explore herself and figure out what she wants out of life and, and to do that on her own, and I feel like she had the balls to, to finally step up and say, you know what, it's, I need to go and and do my own thing so it's sad and it's hard but we've had some amazing times and I'm sure we're gonna be really good friends through it all and it's life I know and when Yosh and I I think they're one of the reasons why I love her so much when, I, when we first got together we talked about relationships and how they were kind of like trees you know and they would just grow together from the root and then as you grow together you know you could branch off in another direction and and now's our time. We'll always have our, our root base together, but the, the branches are are growing in different directions. So it's sad, but that's life. And I'd rather have have this happen now and, and both of us realize it and stand up for it than 10 years down the road, like, like I think a lot of people unfortunately do. And uh, yeah. That's it, and on top of that, the, the boat is 15 years old, so a lot of shit is breaking. The battery chargers have gone. The main engine has a leak. Um, Max and Frida, there's a few problems with, with Max's family, so he's leaving to go be with his grandpa, because he might, he might be passing away soon, just to spend some time with his family. and. It's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. But positive things ahead, definitely. We're, uh, the Delos mission and project is moving on stronger and better than ever. And, and uh, we're losing a great partner in it. And I think in a lot of ways it's it's great. I mean, our, our mission statement of Delos to inspire people to do what they love has worked on one of our own members. So, it makes me happy but sad. That's it. Uh, man, this is really difficult to express and sort of say, but I've always wanted Delos to be something of honesty and truth and I've always stuck by that and 
most of the times are great and beautiful and amazingly awesome but it's also important for me to be truthful about the things that aren't so great and it feels that right now is one of those times for me um, everybody goes through difficult times in their life and yeah now is a very difficult time for me because I mean I've been a part of of Delos for the past four years and I've had this feeling sort of deep down in my heart and this gut feeling and kind of this intuition that has been really hard to like look down into and search for but it's kind of been there this small little thing and I've decided to follow that and follow my heart as scary as that is um, and that means I have to leave. Um, I've decided to, to leave Delos and go back to New Zealand and sort of continue on my own path. Um, it's been really, really hard. <laughs> it's been a really hard decision to come to, but... And I know I'm <laughs> crying and it's all these waves of kind of emotion, but... It really, in my heart, deep down in my heart, it feels like the right thing to do. And I know that this might come as a shock to all of you guys and, um, you know, people on board and things. And it hasn't been easy for, for me to come to this decision, but it feels right. And I have to follow that. And I'm going to. So I've decided to leave um, with Bubs once we get to Madagascar. And it's really scary. <laughs> um, yeah, I. <sighs> it's not that anything ended badly or anything like that, it's just that throughout this season I've sort of, this little feeling inside of my heart has sort of been tapping on my shoulder sort of every now and again and it's sort of come up to the surface more and more and I really feel that it's important for me to follow that. Um, but in saying that it's really really hard because you know, Delos has been my home for the past four years and this thing that we've created, this amazing thing that we've created and shared with all of you is something that I have to let go in order to do that. But, yeah, you know, Delos has been about inspiring people to live their dreams and living a more adventurous and sustainable lifestyle and, you know, it's been something that I cherish and value and I'm so grateful for and I have so much love for everybody on board it's really hard to walk away from that but Delos has inspired me to continue on my path and follow my dreams and whatever that may be so kind of my decision. <sighs> it's really hard to kind of say everything that I want to say in <laughs> a short space of time, but yeah, I just want to give my gratitude and love to all of you guys for making this whole trip possible, and and I love you all, and you know, the, the Delos project will continue to go on, and and continue to spread the love, and continue to inspire people, and you know, that won't stop and I'm just going to be doing it in my own way and 
I've found sort of my own my own kind of being in that sense and with Ramatri and I really want to continue with that and you know continue writing and continue to create things because that's what I love to do and you know so sewing and creating things and I'm gonna really focus on that when I get home and you know you guys can always follow follow up on what I'm doing there on my website as well so that's not it's not going away completely but it is sad it's very very sad and it's really really hard for everybody yeah A lot of changes in kind of in our plans and stuff and I think because of everything that's been going on like we haven't actually filmed that much we've been I don't know it's just been a, a weird time I guess how are you feeling right actually I'm feeling a little bit sad I'm feeling a little bit down right now you know, we're in this beautiful place that's, you know, paradise and nobody else around and everybody's just kind of been in their own little world, like contemplating their own things in life and I have as well, like thinking about the future and I mean, we've still like had a good time, but it's just been different than other places we've been and the energy's been on a whole different level. I've kind of been having a hard time dealing with that, I guess. As hard as it was having all of these things happening here of all places, in the middle of the Indian Ocean, in the middle of nowhere, I think it was a blessing in disguise. We had no internet, no electricity, no people, only us and nature. It gave us time and space to think, talk, love, laugh and cry together. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good. Just chilling. I'm gonna put the dream catcher up and the PC Bellas buoy. That's the one. They're cool. They're friends. They're like friends! It. I like it. Hold them and dogs. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna create a massive dream catcher and hang it here in the memory of uh, the Chagossians when they live here to honor the memory. It's nearly finished, so we're going to carry it to the church and um, hang it there. Sweet. Yeah, let's do it. So we're trying to work out how we're going to hang the dream catcher. The guys, uh, Brian and Max, tied it to the tree behind the church. So now Brady's climbing up like the monkey is. <laughs> Um, and then we're going to lift the dream catcher to him and tie it Whoa. to ball him and secure it. Jesus. It's so quiet here. It's only us. And now everyone is in there enjoying some drinks and we have a fire. The bar is open, everybody. Okay. But it's really magical out here. So we're sending some magic to you too. Bloody kids. Oh, oh. 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 Do the hoochie mama. <laughs> I think Brady, you should grow up a bit. 28, man. Pretty good, right? Uh, we're just making some fires. <laughs> yeah, we're just making a fire, kind of, kind of what, what we usually do on the beach. <laughs> Simple pleasures. Yeah. And just like that, our month in Chagos was up, and it was time to set sail for Madagascar. What are you doing, Karen? 
Oh, morning. <laughs> it was started to smell real funky in our room, so it's time for a wash. Final clean before we leave. Yep. We are leaving Chagos. <laughs> but now we have a we have a passage to look forward to and some awesome times in Madagascar as well before we leave. So we're kind of focusing on that and then take the 40 hour flight home. Yeah, now we're gonna have a fire and enjoy our last night. Oh, that doesn't look good. No, man. Throw on the race, fuck. That's all it does now, it just oh. sits there, does that, and it says, gimbal error. Oh, bro, that doesn't look good at all. And I crashed it upside down from like 10 meters. So. I think it was my crash, though. It'll still fly, but... It's completely unusable, though. As a camera. As a camera. Our flying camera is no longer... It's just a flying. flying. It's just a flying now. Well, maybe... So how has the lack of electricity on Delos been affecting your personal life? Lots of things, really. I mean, first of all, we couldn't flush the toilet. We <laughs> went for a number two. So we had this saying, if it's yellow, let it mellow, if it's brown, flush it down. So that's kind of been the motto yeah, yeah, for the past couple of days, okay, yeah, almost yeah, a week good. now. Do you want it more in the middle? Yeah, yeah. And um, no, not charging laptops and stuff only when we run the generator, so we have to be really careful with when we run the generator. And It's been good though, I think we've really kind of managed given the circumstances. Hmm. We are all sailors at heart. Oh man, we're about to build the biggest fire we've ever built. Why do men like to burn things so much? Minecraft? What is that? It's going to be a massive fire, man. We're not going to be able to be like 10 meters away from it. It's going to be so hot. Welcome to that can match, that can match. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you. Sorry, not you though, son. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? What's going on over here, guys? Just getting the fire ready for the barbecue. It's all good. We got delicious burgers tonight. Cheers. Last night on Chagos. Look at the sunset, everyone. Mmm. Delicious, bro. Oh, this is really good. It's like saucy and crunchy at the same time. Up next. Bye, Chagos! The crew set sail for Madagascar. and have the craziest fishing streak ever.
call my mum? Hey mum! Yeah, I'm just in Chagos. Yeah, I know. There's, there's fuck all here, but there's so many crabs. If anyone asks, we are normal people and you didn't just see that. <laughs>